My name is Jennifer and this is my story. When I was approximately 11 years old, my grandmother went for predictive testing to see if she carried the Huntington's disease gene. Her father, my great grandfather, had died from the illness, although it wasn't diagnosed as the cause of death until sometime after his passing, due to the fact that it is such a rare illness. Currently there are between four and five hundred sufferers of the disease in Ireland. Although on average, for every individual with the disease, there are approximately 22 close family members indirectly affected. Therefore, up to 9,000 family members may require support and information. Although I was quite young at the time, my father explained the situation to me and the implications it could have had for our entire family. If my grandmother were to be carrying the gene, my father and his sister would have also had to be tested. And if one of them were also to be carrying the gene, it would have meant testing for all of the grandchildren. <coughs> my grandmother has since explained this time in her life to me in quite some detail, and I can't even begin to imagine the stress, anxiety, and other mix of emotions she must have been feeling. I'd also like to point out at this time that not all possible carriers of the gene are tested. Firstly, counselling is provided. After this counselling has been received, the person at risk is asked again if they would like to continue with the testing process. Luckily for my family, my grandmother tested negative for the gene. And since she was not a carrier, that also meant she couldn't have passed it down to either of her children or indeed her grandchildren. There is a 50-50 chance that someone with a parent that has or had HD is also a carrier. Being there first hand to witness my great grandfather disintegrate both mentally and physically from the illness, my grandmother was all too aware of the effect a positive test result would have had on her life. Even though I don't carry the HD gene, I think it's important still for me to raise awareness of the illness so that sufferers and their families might receive the help and support they so desperately need. Without awareness, there will be a continuation of misdiagnoses and lack of proper treatment. Those that I work together with on the Huntington's Disease Committee are a group of dedicated, hardworking and passionate people that want to help those in need, despite the effect this illness has on their own personal and family lives. I'd like to dedicate this video to the members of that committee and our organisation and also to sufferers and their families nationwide. Thank you for listening.